last week on the Freshman 15. Well, Challenge 2 was a good old-fashioned bake sale where, we, where the objective was who could raise the most amount of money for a uh, charity. It was right there. It was just like, it was a huge bake-off. The rest of this cake, three dollars. Any takers? Only 50 cents on so minimum asking price. Come on, bro. Come on, man. What do you say? Can I help us out? Trying to get out, out there because I remember on the Celebrity Apprentice, various people gave more than what they were asking. Erin, her, her sisters from her sorority, they came and donated. That was just a really big contribution to the bake sale. That helped us out tremendously. I, of course, as a project leader, you know, couldn't have been any happier. And Myth was standing at the table calling people telling them to come. Being that I was in fraternity and that I had those guys backing me up and I knew if I, you know, at, at my very whim they would all be there and they, we had a good turnout. Kudos to them for everything they did. I couldn't ask for more. We were able to sell out. We had people just donating to this unknown charity. It was, it was far past what we expected we were going to get. So it was just, it was really exciting and I'm like, yeah, we got this in the bag. At this point, I believe we're very confident. You know, I'd be very curious to see, you know, what the final results are. I'm sure it will be extremely close. We probably raised enough to win us this challenge. At the end of the day, I think with, with, with Zach being our leader, we did good. Do I think it's because he was a captain? Not so much. I think um, him being the captain and how he was acting um, last night at the beginning of uh, the challenge, it kind of made the girls and uh, a Ben pull, pull together more to, um, to make things happen. I'm pretty confident in our team, but I'm still wondering how the other team did. Welcome back, freshmen. Jenna, how do you think your team did at the big sale? I think we did really well, actually. All right. And Zach, what do you think? All right, I'm very confident, Monkey. All right. Well, let's find out the results. Jenna, your team ended up with a total of $261.98. And Zach, your team had $393.54. Anyway. Yes. We find out that we won, and I was like, yeah, oh my gosh, what a relief, you know. Yeah, we were the underdogs going into the challenge, so you know, nobody thought we would win, so it was great to have that, to have that win at, win at the end of the day and say, you know what, we are competitive, we can beat you guys, you know. We aren't the losers you portray us to be. But what I came to find out later was that um, one of the team members was in a sorority, and she got her sorority to donate a hundred dollars um, to to their bake sale. But just for the fact that they got a hundred dollars, I felt kind of helped. Kind of that sucks that we did not have that. Because if it wasn't for Aaron on their team, they wouldn't have won. Now if they had beat us, you know, three hundred to two sixty, that's one thing. But when they got a fifth of their income, or more than a fifth of their income from one person, you can't compete with that. You you. Making $160 with two people. I mean, that that's pretty much our profit margin right there. Jenna, since your team lost, normally you would be up for elimination now. 
However, since both teams raised over $750, we feel it would be unfair to eliminate anyone. And so Jenna, your team is also safe from elimination. They say we're not going to have an elimination. Oh, thank God. I, was, <laughs> I didn't know exactly how we were going to cut anyone from our team because everyone worked so hard together, it's hard to say who was the weakest link of the chain. I'm really glad that nobody got eliminated from that because I think that was the biggest flaw. I think we had more friends, they just had to raise your arms. Was it hard for you guys to raise money for an unknown cause? Yeah. I bet you want to know what it is, right? Yeah. Too bad. We're not telling you until later in the competition. <laughs> now, let's get right into the next challenge. This time, the teams will remain the same. Zach, since your team won, you will remain your team's captain. But Jenna, since your team lost, you will all have to choose a new captain. You have 30 seconds to decide, and remember, choose wisely. Go. First thing I say is we're not doing um, wait, rock, paper, scissors again, because that it didn't work out you know, for anybody, I, I think. Uh, we all kind of just looked around. Somebody said, you know, how about you, Amit? There I was, team captain, challenge three. All right, time's up. Who's your new captain? All right. The University of Toledo gets its marketing message out through billboards, print ads, and TV commercials. They are designed to showcase what makes this institution special. For this challenge, each team will create their own two-minute promotional video for the University of Toledo. It can be about anything you want as long as it promotes UT. However, there is a catch. Each team has to incorporate the following 15 words or phrases into their video, and here they are. Rockets, tower, Great Value, Love, Taco Bell, Hollywood, Yield, Lionel Richie, Fight, David Davis, Sizzle, Ancestors, Nuts, 99 Problems, and Varsity. Only the members of your team are allowed to be featured in the video. You'll be given a camera, and with that camera, you must shoot everything in sequence. No editing will be allowed. Any clips or scenes you have must be in the camera in the order you want them. One more thing, Zach, as a reward for winning the last challenge, your team will have access to the expertise of UT TV president and senior film major, Carrie Thiering, to help you create your video. You have five hours to complete this challenge. Good luck. 